Hello everyone. I really need to stop making promises on this channel about how often I'm gonna upload because it you know at this point it's not gonna happen. But yeah, I'm just gonna get right into this. I already sorted out my cards because I wanted to see like how much Luna I had and this whole box is like post Luna, just Luna cards. And then this is like everything else. And I'm gonna do Luna last because that's gonna be satisfying. So I have one Joa card. I moved her into this A6 binder, but I'm not gonna keep the sleeves in this binder because I I bought it for like journaling. So yeah, it, it's like two pocket. I know that um there's like three pocket pages that fit an A6 um binders. I don't think you could like sleeve the cards with those kind of like sleeves so these ones work really well and i could use my ultra pro sleeves in them it looks very cute especially since um i don't plan on really actively collecting her anymore so um this is her 2023 season greetings card for colorize i don't have any cards yet and I don't really know what to collect but I did see a broadcast card that was really pretty I'm just kind of waiting for it to get a little cheaper it's like last time I saw it was like $17 so hopefully the price could go down a little bit it's like so pretty there's that I was thinking about putting white sleeves in it so that you wouldn't see through but uh, I think this works out fine that's so cute. Love to. Oh, also, like, I really like um, the colorized mini album. I really love Backwards. Like, that might be my favorite weekly song. Oh, I just can't believe how long fucking Iced took for them to have a comeback. Like, I fucking hate that company. Next, I have one Doyan photo card. It's been so long. Like, I do not remember when the last time i put away a doyon photo card was so i got her light stick photo card they were selling this at one of my local k-pop stores and my friend was like ain't that winky minky so yeah and i really love light stick photo cards so it's so pretty okay oh my little doyon collection this is so sad okay so okay. i have some yoonjin cards I'm gonna move my red velvet cards out of here because I'm gonna make a oh I'm gonna make a dedicated like red velvet collect book. I got like both versions of their bag for chill kill, which I was not planning on, but so yeah, now I have like a bunch of red velvet cards. So I got her anti-fragile um, frozen aquamarine, is that what it's called? I've been wanting this for so long. And then I got one of her compact cards. It's so stunning. I got this Yinjin pop, also one that I've been wanting for a while. I got a dog here. I got this at the um, at a training event I went to a few days ago, um, and I was really not about to spend money, and I was just gonna try and trade my cards, which I actually traded a bunch, but they're like mostly for other people, the um, like the cards that I got. But then yeah, I ended up buying this and then another Yunjin card. Since I wanna leave this like double-sided i'm gonna put this first and then i'll just put this unit right here okay. and then i got her bloody rose version card it's so stunning like i usually don't like non-selfie cards but these are just so pretty this full set is really pretty and then i got an unforgiven japan card also bought this at the trading event <laughs> but it has like a star hollow it's so cool Okay. I think I'll just like move these cards up on my own time. For Soshi, I only have a few cards. 
I got two copies of Tian's Come Back to X. And yeah, I don't think I'll get any more because I need to stop buying so many copies of albums, I swear. I finally double sided these cards, but I kept them in these Beyond Geek sleeves that are like not double sided because it's kind of a waste to like get rid of them. I don't know. Oh, this kind of works with these. So this one was from the myself version and this is the X version, but I kind of like it like this. There's like a digipack card that I want to get. And these are just my pools. I was hoping to pull the Jero one. I feel like I haven't really seen people pull that Jero card. I, I keep seeing people pull the same ones. So for this binder, I only have two Suyong cards. Oh, I opened, I opened right on the page that I needed. So I got her sticker from Lineheart finally. go right here ah uh, i don't know if i'll ever get her invitation card wait actually i bought this um i think i got scammed well and then i have finally her sm town um superstar sm card always grateful for like more holiday night era stuff because literally this page is like the only holiday night era cards i have and that's it for this binder i hope i could put some more cards in here next year i feel like i'm like flying through this next in the pile is Hyam. I guess I'll put this self Aeropod first. Oh yeah, this actually just goes right here. And then I think I have one in the same outfit. I thought these were like the same jerseys, but they're not. <laughs> they're like different. This one is from Who's Fan. I have not worked on this collection at all. Wait, that's so perfect with this filler. Oh my god, I love this. And then I have... I have the group card from Fevers. I honestly literally like just wanted this to fill up like this space. And I might change this filler. I feel like I should just put this in. Okay, I'm gonna just put it in like that. Cleany. I have her from cards the best friend thing or whatever they did these are the only ones i have left so i'll just change them out when i get my new one so these two are supposed to go together and i think this is like the special one but since she has her hand on her face and these two, I'll put these two together. You could see like a little Hello Kitty like plushie in the back. <laughs> oh, that looks cute actually. This is my favorite one, so I've been like keeping it in a collect book that I take like when I go out. <laughs> As soon as I finish this video, I'm going to take out cards that I want to put in my collect book again. Or actually, after I finish my... After I film my photo card collection video. I have red velvet next. I'm really going through this. First, I think I'll do other member cards. Actually, I feel like I should do Joy first since I have less. But she's my bias, so I'm going to do hers separate wait am i missing a card oh no so i have this cherish collect book i like these a lot more now because um they like close in the back when they get all filled up they collect books get like this and then 
You get me. My brain is not working today. What should I put as a cover? It's Irene's Venice, like calling to me. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. See, I got Irene's mini. I actually got this from a trade, a photo card trading event. That was one of the times where like I barely got anything, and barely. I don't think I sold anything at all that day. Put this Wendy clear card back here. Now onto the chill kill cards. These are literally just bag cards. Wait. Oh, this is in the wrong sleeve. And I think I should do it by a member. Because that'll be cute. I feel like I kind of want to like put these two together. Because I think they like m match each other so well. I love this one so much. It's so cute. And then the Wendy one. Okay, and then Yeti. I love Yeti's bag card. And her donut one. This was like the one that I wanted the most for her. I think I pretty much have all of her cards secured except for her eye patch one. And then actually I'm not sure about a few of her cards because um I don't know if the group order manager for like the set that I joined for was able to secure a set. So I got her birthday photo card and I really don't know what to do with this page. Like I'm gonna have like two empty slots. I got her Keyring doll from the ninth anniversary merch and i'm just gonna keep the photo card just for like continuity i guess so like i just like having things in pairs i don't know we'll see because i also got some pops for her for chill kill and i could like fill out this page with that for chill kill album cards i could fill out these two pages i think actually one of them is gonna be like by itself because it, there's nine cards um wait i actually need to look at a template I think I'm gonna put her one of her package cards here and then her elements version here because they're like um, the same outfit and then I'm gonna put her sister's version photo book here and then her um, this package version so this is the package version I pulled so this is gonna go here I can't believe this is all I have for joy right now like I feel like I got so many red velvet albums and I only have four joy cards. And then I'll put her bag cards up here. This one is so stunning, like her skin. This one. She's only showing half of her face. Yeah, I wasn't gonna collect this card, but then I, I ended up getting another copy of the bag version, so. And then her mini. I think this is my favorite. Actually, I love her Elements version card a lot, but I love this one too, it's so pretty. I think right here I'll put her poster card. I completely forgot that I traded for this, so I ended up filming the video because I didn't think I was getting anything more, especially with the holidays. My trade for Joy's poster version came in. And thankfully, I haven't exported my storing video yet. I'm completely done editing it. I think I just need to watch through it one more time to just check. But yeah, I ended up doing this, so let me just put her in. So I have her for um, my collection video. Oh my god. So I have a full chill kill page. I can't wait to get... Oh, this 
this one's empty i can't wait to get my chill kill pops i got a bunch i don't know if i have enough to like fill out eight slots but yeah my velvet went crazy with the pops this era i forgot to talk about this again <laughs> while i was editing the video i was like i didn't even talk about chill kill but i love chill kill it's such a like red and velvet like mix song and then i love underwater so fucking much probably one of my favorite red velvet b-sides probably in the top 10 maybe um what else i also love iced coffee and will i ever see you again i really love that sound for red velvet and i hope they do more in the future so i just have this left since that last video, I saw Espa in concert. Literally the day I uploaded that was the day I saw Espa. And then after the concert, I had like a period of time where I was like obsessed with buying other member cards. So I have quite a few like um, Karina, Giselle, and Winter cards. Actually, I don't have many Winter, but I, I do have a few like Karina and Giselle. I really thought I had more Espo cards. Like, this doesn't seem like much. Yeah, but I saw them in concert at Crypto. And they were so good. My only complaint is that there were a bunch of people in front of me holding their phones up, like, above their head to record. And it's like, hey, don't fucking do that, by the way. <laughs> Nothing wrong with recording at concerts, obviously. But, like, don't, like, obstruct people's views. Like, it's fucking annoying. Anyway, okay, these are spicy. This is before spicy. Spicy. Like this. Oh, this is also spicy. So I got. This is her 2022 season. Right. Okay. How should I do this? Ah! Um, I'll just put this one as like the cover. <laughs> that looks so silly. So then I could have these two savage cards together. I do want to get more savage cards. At least like two more. I got Karina's um, 2022 season greetings card and also Eddie's. I love Eddie's. The season greetings was really good. Like, I feel like it didn't have like much of a concept, but these just looked really pretty. They're so cute. And I just love how like the colors match each other's really well. I got uh, one of Eddie's. Um, I think there's a different one that I wanted for her, but this one's cute. I kind of want um, Min Jung's gummy warm one, but I should probably not buy anymore because this is fine. I have their 2023 season greetings cards. I have one Dina and one. I really love Audis. Like, even before, like, lately I feel like they're pushing Audis down our throat, but I don't know. I appreciate it. I really like Audis. Like, I love them, like, even before, like, now. <laughs> I think, like, next level era, I really loved Audis. So, yeah, that's why I have so many more like Karina and Giselle cards in winter sorry winter love you girl oh oh my god this is Min Jung's payback okay I'll fix that later this merch drop like came out before the pop up right I think that's right so, I got this Eddie um, pop up trading card it's so cute I want to get a Minjung one 
um from this same version but now that i have these two together it's like it's kind of perfect like and then i got her one of her star river pops and then her smini i was actually supposed to get another one of this but it got lost in the mail because i was having problems with my mail in october so that sucked so pretty and then okay and then i at the trading event from this weekend i traded an xg card for this winter i think this is the intro version right yeah intro version card i've been really wanting this one the little school boy Mindong. so cute and the colors kind of match for these two and then my fucking favorite cards, Thirsty Audis. So this one is um, one of her My World trading cards. And then this is Eddie's Inter Asia pop, I think. Oh my god, but it's so perfect. I wanted to get both of them to like put together. I love it so much. Okay, for now, this will be the little cover. <laughs> and then, I don't know, maybe I'll get another Savage card to go here. Maybe Wind Tears. I'm so obsessed with this, like... <laughs> For Ning Ning. Oh my god, this is quite a good stack for her. Let me try to get this in order though. I think I'm missing a card. <laughs> wait. Oh wait, no. Okay. I, th I thought I was missing a season beings card. Okay, finally, I'm gonna be filling out this space that has been empty for the longest time um, with one of her Life's Too Short trading cards. So cute. I love her purple hair so much. <gasps> this is so cute. And then I got one of her girls trading cards. So now I have a whole girl spread. It's kind of like not the most cohesive thing, but Oh my god, this too. I'm finally filling this out. I have her season greetings cards and then one of her pops. I'm not sure where this is from. I was thinking of getting one of her um, season greetings merch cards because there's one that matches this outfit. So then I would have like two in this one, two in this one. But I don't know. For now, this is like a placeholder. <laughs> I love these cards so much. I think it's her um, her photo pack card that's in this outfit. It would be cute to be like in pairs. But yeah, for now, we're going with this one. Um, yeah, I might end up <laughs> replacing it, but that's the season readings page. Even though this is like technically not a season reading card, it's her anniversary merch card, but it's like in the season greetings outfit. At least I'm pretty sure it is, right? Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> oh my god, wait, these aren't even the same outfit. Okay, well, y'all get what I'm trying to go for, right? <laughs> um, and then I have like other... Uh, oh, okay. So I have one of her training card cards i think in my last video i said i wanted to get like her cards from con and this is like when they went and then i have her into isha pop to match this one this one's just so pretty and then 
then I have another My World trading card in the Yankees jersey. I might get another spicy card just to fill this out and then I'll just go on to this page. I have one of our Better Things cards. I got another one um, from Neokyo. The one from Neokyo is in like the other outfit, like the pink one. And then they had like their little, um, what's it called? Exhibition? POTD. So maybe I'll get like something from that and put them down here. I really just like having spreads for like album eras. I don't know, we'll see. I got a few pops too, so okay. Um I need to look at a template. I found a trade for her Barnes and Noble card, thankfully. Like it's probably my favorite card from this era. And then I have a trade for this as well, but I'm gonna get that in the new year. And then I think I, I bought this version, so wait. Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So these album cards should fill out this, I guess I could do, um, this is a drama version, I think, um, yeah, and then I'll put scene version here, those are, cause they're in the same outfit, and actually I don't have that one yet. I bought, um, a copy of her scene version, which is like the poster version, SM was doing too much with the names with the, <laughs> this album. Um, I wasn't planning on getting it, but my friend gave me a gift card to a K-pop store, so I was like, I don't really know what else to buy, so I'm gonna get this. And then, na, 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 na. um, maybe I'll put these two together, because they're kind of like the same, like kind of colors, I guess. So this is her Target exclusive, and this is um one of her sequence cards. This one reminds me of um, one of her girls' cards. I don't know, kind of. Sort of, kind of. I think I'll do Barnes and Noble and then the other sequence version because they're like in the leather jacket. And then I'll do this mini right here. Oh my god, I had such a hard time finding her mini in stores. Every time I would go, which I went so many times in november because of like red velvet's release I, I literally went so many times and even like during that period there were a bunch of releases from like my faves that came out so i was just like constantly at the k-pop store and they never had it so then i ended up just buying this on um mercari and then after like the k-pop store i always go to restocked there's minis like y'all hate me so bad i swear so this is that page for now and then I have these two like non-album drama cards so this one's a trading card I traded for this at the trading event oh my god I got so many good cards from that event because it was like a girl group specific one I think for now I'll just put these here and then once I get other cards I'll rearrange this I don't have many pops on the way though and this one is from Apple Music. It's so pretty. Oh my god, I was so pissed. Like, this always happens to me. I bought this on um, Poco Market. And then it was like, it wasn't a bad price, but it was like, it was like $11 plus fees. And then I go on Poco Market again. And then it's like 7 or $8. Like, y'all hate me so bad. Lots of holes to be filled. You know, I'm really trying to be more patient with my collection, so I'm trying to learn that like empty slots are okay. It makes up like progress more satisfying. And now for the main event, my post Luna stuff. I'm really excited for this. I can't believe we had this many like post Luna real or Luna. I'll just say Luna because there's still Luna. I can't believe we had this many like Luna releases this year. I was not expecting Go On to re-debut so soon, so okay, I'll just I'll talk about that when I put my Lusumble cards away. Okay, I don't I don't know if 
I'm gonna have enough space in my like other member cards binder was not anticipating to get this many Luna cards so I didn't even like think beforehand okay wow okay these are just like other members except Trudy is one of my biases but she's gonna go in here I did not expect to get this many objects for Ade Circle first. I completely forgot I bought this. This is one of Jinsoul's 20... Ooh, 20... Oh my god. Is this 2020 season greeting? This is 2020, right? It's been so long. Okay, I'm sorry. This should go first. See, I'm, I'm sorry. I need to start like thinking ahead. Ade Circle announced a tour and literally it's next month um and ticketing like already happened i didn't know that ticketing was happening but i also don't know if i could even go because i'm like starting grad school next month hopefully i could go i don't know we'll see it's also on a friday and unfortunately i have a class on friday so i don't know we'll see here's chisel's season greetings card i feel like i'm trying to like grow my plushy card collection <laughs> oh my god especially like definitely nowadays since pubs have so many like themed cards now which is kind of annoying to me yeah they fucking know that people want these like photo cards of them like holding the most random thing ever like they know that fans eat that shit up and that's why they do it but I fall for it. I fucking fall for it. Like, oh my god. The amount of Flusumble pops that were coming out that was like, oh, like fucking Choco Pipe version, Nacho version. Like, imagine how tired we are. Imagine how tired we are. For Flusumble, I've been really like pick and choose with what pops I get, especially since the fact that there's so many like themed cards, it makes me want to like get both Heju and Go On. I need to figure out how I'm gonna do my Ari Circle objects because I have so many. I definitely want to put the clear cards together, and I know that Heejin came out before, came out after True, but I just want to put hers with the other clear cards. The only one I wanted, like, was this Jinsel and this Cherry. Um, how do I have this many? Okay, these two go together. 212, this is 211. Oh, these two go together. 207. Oh, this one's also 212. I'll just put Kim Life first. She only has two cards. And then... To my knowledge, all of these are like unscanned. Hopefully I remember to like edit out the mark code. Not that I want to scan these, but I don't know. I guess if I end up reselling it, it's like, then they're unscanned. Literally, oh my god, these are my favorite, favorite, favorite cards. I don't know, maybe I'll sell these two, but I'll have to think about it. Yeah, I might, I, but I'm gonna think about it, I don't know. I just really love this Jinsoul. I think I got this when I bought the Kim Live version. Honestly, I don't know what to do if they keep doing like member like covers. If I'm gonna keep buying all three, which I don't really want to, but then I also want to get both Chitty and Jin Soul because they're part of my bias line. Okay, so there's the objects. I just I love this Kim Live one so much. I like I went to a cup sleeve event for Odd Eye Circle's like debut anniversary and they gave out um like official like inclusions and I was like oh can I get Kim Lip because I don't have any of her inc inclusions like surprisingly I didn't have any of them okay and then Jin Soul I don't think I had this one for my last video it doesn't look too bad Hee Jin's I love Hee Jin so much Now on to Lusembo. 
um i wanted to get two per like the other members so i wanted one of um hyunjin's uh ever music version so i'll just leave a space open for that one i pulled this one and then i traded it didn't get my part of the trade because my mail was fucked up like during that time literally just my luck all of a sudden my mail was not arriving when Lusambo like debuted like the universe really hates me or with her little salt shaker i swear the Shenzhen cards in this version she was just like okay let me hold a little thing because i know the fans are gonna love this so yeah salt shaker Hyunjin. <laughs> and then yajin yajins are so cute I got this dream version Yajin. I love this one so much. And then this space version. And then VV. This one. Also um one that I pulled, but I have I joined so many goals with inclusion, so I ended up putting her back. This is from the space. Wait no. <gasps> Wait. Oh no, this is Wish. Wish, space. This is also Wish. And then this one is Dream. Yeah. Her iconic pink hat. Cute. I love the sample so much. I don't know what if it's because um like two of my biases are in Blue Symbol. But I just love them. Also, maybe it's because I saw them like live. And then I have two. This is my pool. I really wanted to get this one and then I just like bought this one because this was the other one I really wanted I can't believe I can't believe we had this many like Luna releases like right after the other even like Hustle's digital single like ugh, chew. Ugh. the difference and the way like in my last video I was like oh I didn't expect to have any Luna albums and now I have like this whole stack like oh my god I got this Heejin in my copy of her solo album her album is probably like my second favorite um like post Luna release Lusumbo is my favorite and that's not just because I'm like Lusumbo biased at this point um I just I really love the mini album um but yeah Heejin is probably my second favorite I love her I love her album and I just love her singing voice so much especially when she uses like her lower register I quite like how thick these objects are and I also don't mind this bar like surprisingly I don't really mind it I think it's like kind of different like mod house kind of signature thing um, but this is making like how thick these cards are is making this collect book so like full <laughs> oh my god i hope eve releases something next year so that i have a, something of eve oh my god i'm gonna have to get a new thing here's my new Lusambo binder i set this up like i decorated this on my own time because i actually was gonna record but then i was getting so fucking annoyed like i don't know like when i was doing it nothing was like going my way so yeah i just ended up doing it off camera and it looks so cute and then i made a little cover i like cut this too small so i ended up putting it into this like um one pocket page okay for this page i think i'm gonna put um their like debut ceremony cards am i missing something oh i think i put one of um oh yeah i put her vip card in the album pile so it goes wish wish dream and then space okay. i'm also like collecting pops because i don't know i can't resist the cute card like there's no way i'm not gonna collect non-album honestly <laughs> i wish i could just stick to album but i'm more prioritizing go on but it would be nice to have like 
both Guan and Heju for like equivalent cards. I don't know. It just it just looks nice. Mainly like inspired by Froggy Ben on YouTube. Um, they collect Yeojin and Vivi, and I love how they set up their Pob collection for Lucemble for Yovi. So yeah. Um, 2024, I'm probably gonna go back and try to get more pops because at first I wasn't really joining any group orders because like they came out swinging with the pops. So yeah, I got so overwhelmed and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm just for now, I'm not gonna claim anything. And then all the like cute pops started coming out with like the themes. And then I was like, okay, I'm just gonna pick and choose. Okay. Anyway, yeah, 2024, I'm gonna work on Hewan pops. So first, I think I'll put their. Um, VIP debut ceremony cards first. I did see Lucemble. They were so great, and I'm pretty sure they performed every song on the album, right? Like, I was not expecting their, like, um, debut ceremony to be so long. It was like three hours long. <laughs> I had the time. I know there's people complaining about how much, like, I guess talking there was but it was fun to me and my friends so I got a full set because I could not find a go where both Gohan and Heju were available I got a full set of these like merch cards the full set was like $15 I think I still have Hyunjin, Vivi, and Yajin so if anyone needs them I don't have them on my Instagram because I'm too lazy to post on Instagram so yeah, you could probably just like DM me if you're interested. I love how this page looks, oh my god. I was almost not gonna collect this, um, um, Heju, but looking at this now, it's like perfect. So for album cards, starting with Wish version. Let me see how I want it to look. So yeah, I'm putting the Ever Music ones first. Oh my god, so cute. Oh wait, go on Heju. Oh, this one's cute. Okay, these two should go together. Maybe these two. Oh, these are so cute. Oh my god. Okay, so this is how we're doing it. So, Ever Music, Egg One. I considered collecting like a full set of these, and I almost had a full set. I just was missing Vivi, but then I was so desperate to get this go on that I traded the Yojin that I have. And then I ended up um, pulling an extra one of this from the signed albums I bought at the concert. I was so devastated because like pretty much the signed albums or like the signed ever versions were like the only thing I really wanted from the merch. When we first got to the venue, literally the first thing I do usually is get merch. Um, they didn't have any, they were sold out, but then at the end of the concert, they had more, so I was able to get Gone and Hitchu signed albums. I got, um, Gone and Yajin's, and then I traded for, I just ended up trading for Hitchu signed album. <gasps> oh my god! So ever first, not ever. Um, oh my god! <laughs> What's that doing there? Okay, these two should go together. Both be signs. Mm, maybe this one and this one and then this one. I really love this one. I think I pulled this one actually. Did I love Lusemble? I'm so happy that they re debuted so quickly. I feel like I should stop using these sleeves for these kinds of um, binder pages because they're so, like, they fit so perfectly that I'm like scared that I'm gonna rip them because I have. So <laughs> I think I need to get smaller sleeves. I really like how these are like perfect fit in these pages so that the cards don't like slide out. Oh 
I love this mini album so much. Like I would, I did not know what to expect for Blue Symbol because it's like, it kind of feels like a random like mix of Luna members in a way, like kind of in a way. So I didn't know what to expect from them, and then the teaser for Sensitive came out, and I was like, y'all, we're we're so fucking back. Like we're so back. And then the mini album ended up being so good too. Like, I'm just so happy with their debut. Like, I think this is my favorite Heju from Space Version. Cherry is like part of my bias line. Like, I'm a Hyerim a Warner for life. But I don't know why I don't. I didn't decide to collect her for Art Circle. I probably could easily get the rest of her cards because now, like, Odd Eye Circle objects are like not that expensive, but I don't really feel the need to. Maybe Luna just like, or Lucembo is just more fun to collect because you get so many more inclusions. I think I'm quite satisfied with what I have for Chitty. I feel like nowadays, pops usually are not as hard to get like later on, like past the sale period and when you wait later like they'll go the price goes down for pops but go on and hedge i feel like are the two most like collected members for the symbol so hopefully it won't be too hard to try to catch up or like to back collect i don't know yeah i won't be getting too much more for pops um because i do want to like limit how many pops I get? Wait. Oh my god, wait, that's all the album cards. <gasps> I didn't even realize. Then I have some pops. I think. Oh wait, I have the platform or like the Ever Music um PVC cards. Maybe I'll leave like four pages open for like the pops I have for both members. I'm not really sure what I have, honestly. Even like on hand, I literally only have these two for both Guan and Heju. So these are the K Town for You online pops. So cute. Oh my god, I got their goggle ones. I think those are lucky draws, and oh my god, I'm so excited for those ones. I'll leave these pages empty, and then this is like. I'm just gonna do whatever for this. So this is her Cape Town pre-order. I think I'm gonna try to get Hedju for this. Cause these ones are like the cheapest um, Lusumble Pops right now. Literally have seen it being sold for like $3. <laughs> okay. And then this one is Soundwave. I think it's a cat heart one. <laughs> I'm considering selling this, but I'm not sure. I'd probably put it up for trade for like other pop. With Go On, it's kind of hard to let go of some cards. And so this is her her keyring photo card. I really wanted to get the keyring too, but I wasn't able to get that. But then I found someone selling just the card, which I'm so happy about. Probably one of my new favorite Go On photo cards. And then her Make Star Panda Pop. I had to buy this twice because the first time it got lost in the mail. Glad I finally got one. I kind of, I think I want head juice for this too. I have her FanCon Lucky Draws. Bought this from someone at the training event, which is nice. And I don't think I'll collect head juice for this one, these Lucky Draws because I don't know. I don't like love her card, so I'm happy with just having go on. I do want to get. I was like, maybe I should get up, give up on like FanCon photo cards because they're kind of hard to get. But I really want one of her, one of Goan's cards with the glasses. Like that would be a lot faster than I thought it would. So debut ceremony cards, wish version, dream version, space version. And then these are the Ever Music QR cards, and then Pops, which is super empty right now. 
but these will definitely fill up that's all for this video thank you for watching bye my next video will be sooner like and this is not a lie <laughs> it will be sooner i promise